God bless you. This is the Banjul Jolanda Salas. They're going to let you a message about the about the or the Holy Spirit. Yeah, today in this channel, I want to you hear something very important about the people of Jesus Christ today. Every Banjuli, every people from the United States or the America in every country. It doesn't matter where you are. But I just want to talk about the tongues today. One of the most important, powerful weapons in the benefit of God for belief, the bounty of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Bounty of the Holy Spirit believes in the promise to divide to authority. Yes. Tongue speaking is one of those nine important gifts a potent Paul say to we know how to ignore it. You know that is true. Huh? How can you know that is true? By the Bible. By the Bible, yes, it is. You more believe and have faith in it. Just more have decide to do a strong love. No man teach brave but to say just open your mouth without being or um, try to speak in tongue with your teeth. No, that's not the way it is. In tongue, Lord, the Holy Spirit, you must speak. You have to speak in language. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You must receive immediately. Now there is true belief in this side for he was right, really, really true. And it's a e uh, is our fifty five eleven. One of Corinthians twelve one eleven. Atea two one seventeen. Atea two thirty four forty one. Or one of Corinthians four fourteen one four. One of Corinthians. 40, 40, 15, 1 Corinthians 40, 18, Atea 19, 1, 8, Atea 4, 31. That's the number of the sign of the Bible. Speaking in tongue is supernatural man in the Holy Spirit. We are believed in speak four language when they never learn. We do. And we understand the belief or point no about speaking in tongue because a lot of people like to talk in tongue but they don't know how to speak in tongue they just just want to let you know how when you speak in tongue you have to read the bible and not only you reading the bible you need to pray to god he's the only one can give it to you the tongue tongue in the nation sign tongue is spirit edification tongue remind and spirit know and breathe tongue Keep out to pray online. Turn similar on faith. Turn to keep free from contamination. Turn to live to pray to understand. Turn to give a spiritual a spiritual to remain. Turn to forgive or thank you. Turn to bring tongue to understand. to understand. Turn to need to pray to a spot we are to to get in. Turn to get into confused or to deny recognize. Turn to stretch a spiritual power a strong hold. From the enemy, turn directed to language to, to speak with God quickly. Turn to strain a spirit to open door in this world. That's the way you, when you speak tongue. A, a, this tongue, when you speak the tongue of God, you need to pray more the Bible too. I'm mean, gonna praise the Bible. So, yeah, you need to pray more and read the Bible too. Speaking in tongue, be to one private devotion to speech. Blessing and pray to the Spirit. Tell for pray and we understand it. Speaking in tongue and determination was God or what or God told you me rest in the Spirit and pray, understand the human understanding through and watch the Holy Spirit be in you and cry. Speaking in tongue and give individual words. Um, corporate body or cry or the Holy Spirit present the body or believe. Or body in the or the body or sister or and brother inspiration. It's speaking in tongue to live a gift and give some understanding of the Holy Spirit, about in the Holy Spirit in you. In nomination and is a gift from God. I do not mean you do not speak in tongue. You will not go to heaven. I mean to prepare to believe that you are be born to speak in tongue. But you have to um, look for God and keep on praying. 
Be sure the purpose when you you proceed for the occasion with every private and corporate. Let the spirit emotion in you and then pull it to you and let the spirit to use you in your body. And be and do not be disturbed about nobody in church when you spoke in tongue. Let God left to see the congregation when you spoke in tongue. And that's what I had today for you about the benefits of, of speaking in tongues. It's, um, um, it's a study today about the tongue because a lot of people speak in tongues and they don't know what they're talking about sometimes in church. You see so many people speaking in tongues, right? But you understand what they're talking about because they're speaking in the same language, both of them and everything. But when somebody spoke in tongues in, in church, you need to hear what they say. You understand what I'm saying? One had to shut them out and the other one had to hear what they say in tongues. Because sometimes God is spoken. But sometimes there is a lot of people, they spoken in church. They say it's tongue, that's not tongue. Sometimes they're speaking in the flesh. You understand what I'm saying? So that when I try to tell you, when you try, if you want God give you the tongue and you want God to um, spoke to you, you need to pray. You need to read the Bible and God is the only one can show you the truth. Can show you how to speak in, in that language. But can no, because nobody can show you how to speak in that language. Only God is the only one can show you speak in tongue. So when you need um, to take, um, God take you in the spirit, you have to pray and God take you in the spirit. But because a lot of people, they say, I have the Holy Ghost and sometimes even they had the Holy Ghost. Sometimes it's emotion that you have in church. Because when you see everybody singing and they um talking a lot of stuff in the in the autumn over there or they emotion too, you emotion too down there and then you say it's God. That's not God sometimes it's you sometimes speaking in tone in your own flesh. When sometimes when God spoke to you in um and say that I want to use you to speak in tongue. He used the right way. He not using just the wrong way. You answer what I'm saying? So I just let you know what is this, um, the truth is spoken in tongue. It had to be about the spirit, not in the flesh. You understand? So God bless you. Yeah, I let you more uh, this message today about how it's spoken in tongue. It's something very important in church you know, about this day. It's a lot of church. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They don't have the 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 the, the Holy Spirit. They don't have the the uh, the Spirit in tongue. It's a lot of church in around this world. A lot of mountain church. A lot of Spanish church too. They don't have uh, how to um had the Holy Ghost and they even had to speak in tongue. So God bless you and good night and subscribe to my channel Yolanda Sala TV too and enjoy this night. Okay. So God bless you. Bye.